channel since last class we've been discussing how to create an uh, canadian uh, login account and uh, we already logged in for last class and continuation of last class is for today and uh, we have been discussing that you know how, how to apply for canada come to canada and refugee apply for temporary health visa and citizenship apply for search and proof citizenship and student transfer schools once you fill the, all this information your um, status your application status will start showing here so first we'll understand uh, there are other options also it's like travel and business and benefits and health care and taxes all the services are available so now that we are going to do with apply to canada includes applications for visitors visa work and study permit uh, express entry and international uh, experience canada you will need to your personal reference code uh, if you have one so just apply for uh, Canada here it will be asking you please enter your personal reference code uh, for begin your applications if it is required so we'll say that you know visit a visa study and for permit express entry I just create express entry find out if you are eligible to apply so if you wanted to yet choose the provincial or territory you are most interested you have to select any of the provinces that you are most interested in Saskatchewan, Quebec, uh, Prince Edward Island, Ontario, now what Nova Scotia, North Territory, Northwest uh, Territories and New Founded and Labor Lord and New uh, Brunswick and Manitoba, British Columbia, Alberta most of them are more looking for either uh, Ontario or Al Alberta you can look for others too I just go for Ontario and I just say next uh. here uh, you need to submit a language test results for the all the all programs under the express entry profile even for the English and French you first time lang uh, first language which languages test did you take uh, for your first language uh, official so I'll say IELTS next uh, what date did you take this test because you know it is valid only for two years so they definitely would uh, cross check whether you are eligible to apply for this uh, I would uh, randomly put some date recent date or uh, this year date only I would put uh, so that you know I will be accessible some date I will put ok next uh, here it will ask uh, find out if you are eligible to apply enter the test score so if you are uh, above triple seven or uh, seven point five then only you are eligible to apply if you are lesser than seven point five or eight then um, then it is difficult to get a good score so i would not i would suggest you to score good points in your ielts so do you have any other language results which is language test they are asking for uh, any TOEFL exams that you have done I would say none next uh, next one is in this last three years how many years skilled workers do you have ca in Canada if in, it must have been full time or equivalent amount in part time so if you have worked you can say less than a year or if you are not taken uh, which pro occupations they do have a skill level of A, B, C and um, zero level only these three are eligible to apply for your um, express entry profile uh, the skill level I already have made a separate video you can cross check in my description list uh, um, so if you are this level if you are less than this also you can if you do not have experience you can say none and next uh, here um, in the last 10 years how many years of skill work experience do you have it must have been continuous paid full time or equal amount in part time you should say what whatever the experience that you have and select that you know if you are not sure in OC code um, you should say that you know uh, find out uh, NOC code you can check here I have made NOC code also separate video you can check there less than two years and two or more years of experience that if you have 
and find out if you are eligible to apply do you have a certificate qualifications for canada provincial territory in skill trade uh, if you have yes you can say uh, if you do not have you can say no and how much money in canada dollars you can bring to canada that uh, put at least a minimum what they are expecting how many family members that you are traveling one person i would say find out if you are eligible to apply do you have a valid job offer if you have you can say yes otherwise you can say no and uh, what is the date of birth you have to give a date of birth here so select that you know if you are uh, not earn canadian degree diploma certificate you must need to have a foreign education assessment agency approved by the immigrations um, that uh, masters degree and i have studied full time canada or two years more i have least two years of full time work experience in canada i have relative uh, relative in canada who is 18 years old older than so i'm not uh, suitable for all these things i just say no for this none of above and uh, what is your marital status i should say married or legally separated divorced or annulled married widow or common law never married single and uh, so based on your answers you are uh, appear to be eligible for express entry profile when you click here continue we will be um, guided through the following steps and complete your profile complete the express entry profile builder and review your profile and submit your profiles after you submit your profile you will see a page that confirms that your profile has been submitted it will be more um, uh, it it'll have a more information next step so once you click continue it will be updated in your uh, profile um what is your last name and what is your first name what is your gender again it lasts uh, every details and you should uh, um give complete information and submit next class we will be discussing uh, how to fill an express entry profiles uh, complete informations today's class that's all friends do like my videos and subscribe my channel for more updates thank you and have a great day bye